Hi guys, this is Rod Sidwell. I'm your instrumentation instructor for 233. We're going to review activity 4-2 which is about heat capacity. Uh, heat capacity is the amount of heat energy in BTU required to change the temperature of one pound of, and that should read water right there, by one degree Fahrenheit. So if we add one BTU to one pound of water, it should go up one degree. Now they've got this nice uh, graph here, and let's go over that real quick. And what this shows is that how the temperature increases as we add heat. And there's a couple of phase changes in here, which makes the graph a lot more interesting. So if we just start at zero degrees Fahrenheit, and we start adding heat, um, BTU to the ice and we have one pound of ice to begin with the temperature just increases and the temperature increases up to 32 degrees Fahrenheit at that point some of the ice starts to melt and change to water so from here to here you have a mixture of liquid water and ice and right here you'd have a mixture of 50 50 ice and water here it's going to be 100 percent water so we can see we add a lot of heat without the temperature changing at all as that ice melts. And once all the ice is melted, any additional heat we add increases the temperature up to the point where the water starts to boil and go to steam. So here we have 100 percent liquid, here we have 100 percent steam. That has a specific term, it's called saturated steam. And they tell us that it takes 970 BTU per pound to uh, make steam and that it takes 143 BTU per pound to go through the ice to liquid phase change. All right, so let's talk about question number one. And question one says that what is the amount of heat energy in BTU that must be added to a gallon of water at 72 degrees to raise the temperature to 212. So I'm just going to write the heat formula out of the book, Q. That's going to have units of BTU is equal to the specific heat capacity times the mass times the temperature change. Now for water, uh, C equals 1 BTU per pound per degree F. So here's C. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and put M in here as gallons, even though it's not gallons, it needs to be in pounds. So here's C, 1 BTU per pound per degree F. And they want 1 gallon, so I'm just going to write a gallon in there. And then delta T, well, the final temperature is 212, and the initial temperature is uh, 72. And that's going to have units of Fahrenheit. So we can see the units of Fahrenheit are going to cancel away, but we've got this problem we've got to do something about with the gallons. So let's go ahead and rewrite that. We've got one BTU per pound. We've got one gallon. And I can, now I know that one gallon weighs 8.34 pounds, so I can multiply 8.34 pounds per gallon. And that's just like multiplying or dividing by one um, because 8.34 pounds equals one gallon. Now the gallons go away, the pounds go away, and I just still got to put in a delta T which is going to be equal to 140 F and we already got rid of the F. So one times 8.34 times 140, that should give us our Q for answer number one. And I get 1167.6. Uh, BTU. Now for number two, it says, uh, what is the amount of heat energy in BTU that must be added to a gallon of water at 212 to convert it to steam at the same temperature? So when we're on this part of the curve, we use our heat formula, our Q equals C M delta T. Same with up here, but this would be for steam. So uh, C would be different. Here's for ice, now C is different. We know C in here. If we're on this part of the curve or this part, we don't need that formula. 
water at 212 degrees to steam at 212 degrees and we know that's 970 BTU per gallon so I'm just going to take 970 I said per gallon didn't I? It's 970 BTU per pound and I have one gallon and so I'm going to have to put in my 8.34 pounds per gallon again gallons will cancel, pounds will cancel so the answer is going to be 970 times 8.34 and number three um, very similar story only this time we're going to be taking energy out so we're going to go from uh, 32 degrees and what 100 percent water down to 32 degrees and 100 percent ice and you can see right off the graph we're, we're going to lose 144 BTU per pound so in this case we have uh, and in the notes it says 143.5 BTU per pound we have one gallon we know that's 8.34 pounds per gallon. So just like before we got 143 times 8.34. Right now the last one, number four, uh, what is the amount of heat energy in BTU that must be removed from a gallon of water at 72 degrees to lower the temperature to 32 degrees? So here's my formula. One BTU per pound per degree F and I'm just going to write the 8.34 pounds here because we know what's that. Now we've got the final temperature which is 32 minus the initial temperature which is 72 that's going to be uh, that's F so that, that's going to go away, that's going to go away, I'm going to be left with units of BTU and I'm going to have 8.34 times negative 40 BTU. Now the book says that how many BTU has been being removed so that's going to make that a positive number and just as a little aside we envision uh, adding heat to a block of uh, material so we're going to say if I have a little block of uh, copper or material here when I heat it up I put heat in and this is just a definition by convention and if I take heat out to cool it off Q is negative. So when you go answer number four um, in Canvas use a positive number but we know that uh, in fact we're taking heat out because the way the problem is stated. Alright you should get a number around 333.6 for that. That's the end of this problem.